Hi there. Previously, we looked at file I.O. for text, which of course has its benefits, but even more useful is the ability to write whole objects to a file. The approach is fundamentally the same. We simply use different streams when working with objects. So let's take a look at those streams. When we're dealing with file I.O. and objects, we use object streams. So previously we saw byte streams, character streams, and buffered streams, but now we're looking at object streams, and they're used to support the I.O. of objects. The key here is that the object you're writing has to be of type serializable, and we'll see that in a couple of minutes. The examples are object input stream and object output stream. When we use object output stream, the write object method traverses the entire class hierarchy of object references and writes all objects in that hierarchy onto the stream. And this is known as serialization. When we use object input stream, the read object method reads all serializable objects and all original object references are preserved, which is deserialization. So serialization is wrapping everything up and sending it to the file and deserialization is pulling it all back out and all of the data still being the same as it was when it was sent. To write and read objects to and from files, we must first make the class serializable. So here we have the example of the employee class, which implements serializable. So it's important in the code, in the employee class, to at the class header, add in implements serializable. Serializable is an interface and Java needs to also know where to find it. So we would also have to right click and fix imports if we're working in NetBeans and do import java.io.serializable. These changes need to be applied to all instantiable classes whose objects are to be written to or read from a file. Of course, then, because we're doing file input and output, we're using the java.io package. So we need to make sure that we import this package at the top of our class where the file handling is taking place. This can be done either by importing java.io.star or it's more efficient to you import just the classes you use. So if we were doing object input stream, it would be import java.io.object input stream and so on and so forth. So you would just do the import statement for each one that you need.